You got no fellas, here we go with a limited release from Akasha Brewing Company, the Wooden Leg Triple IPA, 10.5% alcohol, a triple. That's the can. For the love of hops. Okay, I might read that in a second. I'm thirsty, I'll just finish doing carpentry work for my daughter in a row. That was trippy. Made one tiny mistake. But other than that, did a pretty good job. She's getting a new futon delivered tomorrow. Had to make some room. Alright. Well, there you go. I don't know if you can see the head on that. Probably not. Let's we'll pull that back a bit. There you go. Look at the head on that, fellas. And the colour. Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh, yeah, look at that. Gorgeous. Triple. Mm. Ooh, smells delicious. Yeah, wow, well, what can I say? Have half a dozen of them, you'd probably fall over and break your leg, get gangrene, and have to have a wooden one. You're kidding, wouldn't you? Wooden eye, wooden dick. What's the saying? I don't know. The wooden leg triple IPA is only brewed once a year for our birthday. This beautiful beast of a beer is full of. Simcoe, Amarillo and Centennial Hops. Triple the hops, triple the flavour and triple the love. Brewed in five dock New South Wales. Wow. Cool, delicious beer contents. Well, that sounds pretty bloody good. And it is bloody good. It tastes well balanced. I can't swallow it. I just want to keep it in my mouth. It's just delicious. It's just good balance, quite hoppy, um, but it's not ridiculous. There's quite a good malt backbone on it. So it's not over the top bitter. It's not too sweet. And it doesn't taste like really strong alcohol. But it has got oodles of flavour. Oodles. Mmm. That is awesome. Getting a few different flavours going too, like even a bit of licorice almost. Yeah, delicious. Well guys, it's Friday night here, uh, moving into the weekend. Got a couple of uh, specials there. Uh, not as good as this one. I thought I'd have this one first. And enjoy it completely with the dry mouth from working and that's a ripper well coming out of the COVID-19 bullshit I never called it COVID well maybe a couple of times but I was calling it the the who Wuhan flu I thought that had a good ring to it the who because they got a lot to do with it they made it worse than what it was or the Wu, Wuhan CDC flu. Yeah, but it gets ridiculous. It should be just called, like other flus and viruses and things, you call it by the name of the place where it first come from, usually. So, anyway, it is what it is. I'm not going to fight over the bullshit. I'll leave that up to the idiots. All right, I'm going to enjoy my beers. Cheers, everyone. Have a great weekend.